In the last 75 days, I drank 75 gallons of water, worked out 150 times, read 750 pages of self-improvement books, drank zero alcohol, and averaged under 2,000 calories per day. Here's how it went. I thought it would be fun to bring you along for my last week of 75 hard. So, while you watch me exercise, drink ridiculous amounts of water, and cook yummy healthy food, let's chat about how this challenge really went. For anyone who's not familiar, here's what the 75 hard challenge entails. Every day you have to complete certain tasks, 10 pages of self-improvement style books, a gallon of water, you're supposed to take a progress picture every day, do a 45 minute outdoor workout, another 45 minute workout, and follow a diet. Following the diet also includes no cheat meals and no alcohol. So I just decided 2000 calories as my weekly average. One day if I had 2200 calories, I just needed to have less the next day, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the basic rundown of what I have spent my last almost three months doing. Before I go into how it actually went, I do want to discuss my reasons for choosing to do this challenge. If you saw my getting out of a rut video from a couple months back, I talk about starting the challenge. And the way that I describe it in that video is that I was really just lacking some discipline in my life, essentially, discipline and structure. I had just gone on a two week vacation and coming back, I just, was really lackadaisical and not very motivated and I just wasn't feeling my best and I knew that I needed to shock that out of my system. So that's why I decided to start doing the 75 hard challenge. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but that made me actually take that step to start it. So did I accomplish my reasons for starting with implementing structure and self-discipline? 100%. Having specific healthy habits to kind of form my days around definitely gave me more structure in my life. Reading usually in the morning, which is great and set my mind up right for the day. An evening walk after dinner was always so wonderful, especially because my partner Greg would usually come with me and the, so that had the secondary benefit of being a bonding time for us. But when it comes to discipline, it absolutely had an effect. I felt accountable for my own actions. And because with the 75 hard challenge, if you miss a day, you're supposed to actually start over. That was an incredibly strong motivator, especially once I passed the first few weeks, that just would have been so frustrating to have to start over. So this was incredibly motivating and absolutely did give me a good feeling of self-discipline. One of the big criticisms that people bring up when it comes to the 75 hard challenge is sustainability. Anything that you do for weight loss or anything like that, there's typically a focus on sustainability because if you can't really make it a lifestyle, then as soon as you finish the challenge or the diet or whatever it is, you're just gonna bounce back to who you were before. And I absolutely agree with that. I think you have to treat any changes like this that you're making as a lifestyle change. So do I think that 75 hard is sustainable for most people? Probably not. However, I was very fortunate that going into this challenge, a lot of these habits were things that I had already instilled in my life. For example, I already drink a gallon of water a day. Now that the challenge is over, I fully intend on continuing to drink a gallon a day. I find that's really beneficial. I already take regular walks because I have a dog. I consistently weight lift and do other sorts of workouts. Do I always do two a day? Probably not. Am I gonna keep doing two a day? Probably not. I do plan on continuing the sunset walk habit. I think that that was just so wonderful and so beneficial. 
I was also someone who already read a lot. When it comes down to sustainability, I think you just have to look at it from a perspective of, okay, I finished this challenge. What things are gonna continue to serve me in my life? What really made me feel good? and alter it in a way that's gonna fit your lifestyle. If you go from doing two workouts a day to zero, yeah, you're probably not gonna maintain those benefits, but this challenge is really a way to kickstart your habits. Then you have to continue to be consistent with them. I wanna address the things that did make this challenge difficult for me, because I don't want you to think that it was just super easy, rainbow sunshine, just because these are habits that I had already instilled. Two things that really were a struggle for me were one, socializing. With alcohol, obviously it's hard when everyone else is drinking and you have to be that person who's not. Honestly, that wasn't too hard for me because I did grow up in a religion where I didn't drink and I did have friends that drank. So I've kind of already gotten used to that. So it didn't bug me too much. The biggest thing was the way that a lot of my friends socialize is by going out to restaurants and eating. And because I was tracking calories, that made it very difficult. There were some days where I ended up eating more than 2000 because of socializing. And then I'd have to be a little bit more careful through the rest of the week to make sure that that weekly average came out to what it needed to be. So that's just an example of how when you're not just by yourself controlling your whole environment and all of your choices, it can be a little bit harder to stick with these types of goals. Another challenge that I came across is I actually traveled during 75 hard. I'll be honest, that was a really rough aspect. If you're gonna be traveling while doing a challenge like this, you have to be very disciplined and motivated. Fair warning. So my final thoughts on this challenge, did I accomplish what I initially intended to accomplish? 100%. I feel fantastic. I feel like it just re-solidified habits that I had already previously worked on and it is now such an ingrained part of my life and my day after doing it for 75 days straight that I'm confident that this can really be a lifestyle for me. So at the end of the day, would I recommend this challenge? Yes, I absolutely would. Even if you're not like me, you don't already do a lot of these things. Just taking 75 days, really dialing in and focusing on your own growth and improvement and physical, mental, all of the aspects of this challenge can only be beneficial. Even if you finish the challenge and there's only one or two things that you take away from it and actually implement in your life, that's one or two more healthy habits that you didn't have before. So if you're watching this video and you're on the fence about whether or not you wanna try 75 hard, go for it. Worst case scenario, you can stop early, but you'll never know if you don't try.